What's up, flamethrowers? It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog here. And you guys can't see it, but I'm actually in my super form. In fact, guys, uh, after this, I'm about to go head out and deal with the anti-flame syndicate. That's right, guys. After this date smasher pass, it's going to be the final battle. So you guys better be ready for it. Anyway, guys, in the meantime, today we are going to be looking, we are going to be doing a game of Date Smasher Pass. And it's a very special one that I've been wanting to do for a very, 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 very long time. Today, guys, we are going to be looking at cartoon MILFs. Well, well, in Langman's terms, we're going to be looking at cartoon moms. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. I already did that. No, I looked at anime moms. I'm, this time, I'm looking at cartoon moms. You know, the mothers that, the mothers in many, many, many different cartoons. Some of, some of them you might remember, others you might not. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, anyway, guys, you guys are probably wondering, what the heck is a MILF, anyway? Well, well, a MILF is basically uh, another word for a mother. Um, another word for a mother. <laughs> and just to let you know, guys, there's two things that a woman has to have in order to be classified as a MILF. They, one, have to at least have to have a kid. And number two, they have to have a, a very, very different personality when it comes to other men. Oh! Oh, and, uh, great big jugs. And I know I'm, and guys, I know I'm sounding, uh, I don't know, sexual or something like that, but I'm not. I promise you I'm not. But anywho, anywho, uh, unfortunately, my brother is not here with me. Uh, right now, him, Rainbow Dash, and Sunset Shimmer, and I, and Sunset Shimmer, they're getting ready to join me for this final battle. Because trust and believe me, I'm going to need all the help I can get. As you guys saw in my community tab, we're all powered up and ready. So, right after this, we better be prepared. Anyway, let's stop wasting time and get right to it. Now, if you guys want to see more Date Smasher Passes, please hit that like button. And let me know in the comments down below which one of these lovely cartoon moms would you want to date, smash, or pass. Alright? Oh, and let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do a... Uh, or better yet, do this one again, only this time with my brother Sonic. And I might add some more cartoon moms in here, who knows. But anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so the first woman or mom we have here on the list is... Ooh, okay. Okay, so for those of you guys who do not remember, in an episode of OK KO, Let's Be Heroes... K.O. and Rad, they were curious about Enid. So they followed her home. And it turns out, they and they actually met her parents. And this is her mom. You know, Enid, the ninja. She has a vampire for a mother, okay? She has a vampire for a mom, I know. And I do have to admit, her mom is definitely hot and smoking. I mean, come on. Okay, guys, look. I've been with demons. I've been with demons. I've been with furry demons and all sorts of things. But I have never, and I repeat, never been with too many vampires. I mean, Lady Dimitrescu, sure. But her? No, I have not been with any other very, very sexy um, uh, vampires. So... Oh, and her personality is absolutely amazing, and she's a great fighter too. I mean, she doesn't really I mean, she doesn't really classify it as a hero, I guess. I don't know, but she is really really beautiful and sexy and stuff. I mean, props to Enid's dad, who is a werewolf by the way. I mean, he's a very very lucky uh wolf man to get with this woman. Anyway, I guess you guys can guarantee I'm definitely smashing. And dating, obviously. Hello. Okay, anyway, let's keep the ball rolling with the next one. Alright, so next up we have is Rita Loud from the Loud House. Guys, I'm just going to flat out say this. There is no other hard-working woman that I have seen 
more than this woman right here. I mean, come on. Having to raise 12 people plus four pets and all sorts of people and all sorts of things. And she, and she finds time to uh, write her book and everything. I mean, come on, guys. Read Aloud is definitely one of the best moms in Nickelodeon history, probably. I don't know. <laughs> well, not really the best mom, but a really well patient one. I mean, come on, think about it. She has a, she has a total of 11 kids and a husband and four pets that she needs to take care of too. I mean, come on. I mean, sure, her, I mean, sure, her family does get a little bit distracting and all that other stuff, but she still loves them to death. She still loves them to death. And would I smash? Uh, duh. I mean, think about it. If she had 11 kids, then you know, rest assured that, you know, um, <laughs> yeah. Lincoln, I know you're a good friend of mine, so please... Do not come after me if I say that I would smash and date your mom. And don't bring your dad either because, uh... Yeah, this is gonna get awkward anyway, moving on. Okay, so next up we have is Maddie Fenton from Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom's mom. Or Danny Fenton's mom. Oh man, okay. Alright, well, let's think about this. Okay, so Maddie Fenton... Um, I think I would definitely have to say, um, Smash, because obviously no one knows better about ghost hunting than her. I mean, she's awesome. I mean, she's awesome. She's amazing. And not to mention, when her family is in danger, you know, rest assured, she's going to step in with a laser gun and all that other stuff. I mean, come on. You guys seen her in that epi- I mean, you guys seen her in that episode when, uh, the ghost jail invaded Amity Park and her and Jack worked together to, uh, you know, defeat the ghosts and all that other stuff? That was crazy. And plus, not to mention, I'm surprised Maddie still didn't figure out that, you know, her son is Danny Phantom. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure she knows by now. But anyway... Back to it, uh, yeah, I would definitely smash Maddie Fenton. No joke, obviously. Hello, think about it. Jack, you are definitely one lucky guy to get with this woman. I mean, come on. You are one very, very lucky guy to get with this woman. Okay, anyway, moving on. Next one. All right, so next up we have is Mrs. Turner, the, uh, the mother of Timmy Turner from the Fairly Odd Parents. Okay, guys. Um, well, uh, I don't really know, guys. There's not that much that I know about her. All I know is, is that um, she's can be strict sometimes and a bit of a dumb dumb because uh, you know, because you know. I mean, come on, guys. Really think about it. When you watch the Fairly Odd Parents, it just seems like adults. They are not all the way there. They're not all the way there when it comes to adults in the Fairly Odd Parents. It seems like the kids are the most obvious uh, or, you know, uh, smartest. But um, would I smash Mrs. Turner? Uh, no, but I think I would date. I mean, yeah, I would definitely date her. I would definitely date her. Okay, there. Period. Point blank. I would date Mrs. Turner. All right, there. Okay, so next up is, okay, so next up we have is Judy Neutron from, oh boy, Jimmy Neutron, the mother of Jimmy Neutron, oh boy. Okay, well, let's think about this, guys. Judy Neutron, she, uh, she's a good mom, I'm not gonna lie, she's a good mom. And, uh, it is pretty embarrassing when she always calls Jimmy out by his full name, James Isaac Neutron. <laughs> ah, man, I really do feel bad for Jimmy. I really do. I mean, and plus not to mention, he got mad at her, he got mad at his mom so much. He got mad at his mom so much, and not to mention his parents that, you know, he just wished that all his parents was gone. I mean, that was just crazy. And plus, not to mention, when his mom refused to take care of him and his dad, he just decided to replace her. He just decided to replace her and use and build a robot copy. I mean, that was just crazy. But at the end, he did realize how important his mom is to him and everything. 
But anyway, would I smash Judy? Uh, no, I would not. I would date. Maybe, I don't know. Or, wait, you know what? How about this? I think I would pass. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on her. Reason why is because, one, she's just so bland. I mean, she did only have one moment where she stood up to her robot copy, but that was like the only moment that she was actually badass, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, uh, yeah, so Judy Neutron is passing. I'm passing. Anyway, moving on to the next one. All right, so next up we have is Trudy Proud from the Proud Family. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie. The Proud Family is definitely one of my favorite shows what I was watching growing up. I mean, come on. Just watching The Proud Family is absolutely amazing. I love watching The Proud Family. I mean, it's just so funny. It's too funny. But anyway, as for Trudy, yes, you know, rest assured, I'm smashing that. You know, rest assured, I'm smashing that. I mean, come on. Any mom who can put up with Oscar and, not to mention, is also able to help out Penny as many times as she did, you know, giving her advice and all that other stuff. I mean, come on. Plus, not to mention, uh, I know Penny isn't a mom and anything, but you know, rest assured, I would definitely smash Penny. And plus, not to mention, guys, you guys probably don't know this, but Trudy actually gives off Gina vibes. You know, you know, Gina from the, uh, from, from the famous black sitcom, Martin. Well, yeah, Trudy does kind of look like her a little bit. But anyway, yeah, Trudy, definitely 100% smash. I would 100% smash, okay? 100% smash, all right? Cool beans. Anyway, moving on. All right, so next up we have is Peg Pete from Goof Troop. Okay, uh, guys, I'm going to flat out say this, even though that... Uh, Oh, wait, never mind. Sorry. I was trying to think. Is she a mom? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I remember. She is a mom. She is a mom. She is, uh, best friends with, um, I mean, he, his, uh, her son is, uh, best friends with Max. But anyway, would I smash? Uh, sure. Why not? I would definitely smash. Okay, guys, here's, okay, guys, there's two reasons why I would smash. One is because she's, uh, hot looking, I guess. And number two it's to piss Pete off. It's to piss Pete off. Well, that version of Pete. The uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse version of Pete is fine. Um, same thing with the uh, Mickey and the Roadster Racers version of Pete. He's okay. But the classic Pete, yeah, I definitely would want to piss him off. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, but anyway, as I was saying for Peg Pete, yeah, I would definitely 100% smash Peg Pete, obviously. I mean, look at her. She's so beautiful and stuff. She's sexy. I mean, sure, her sure her laugh is a little bit annoying, but she's still beautiful and sexy. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out how the world did Pete ever get with this woman. I mean, he's a bad guy for crying out loud. But then again, I guess even bad guys have to have love too, even though they don't deserve it. Ugh. Anyway, moving on. All right, so next up we have is Donna Tubbs from the from the Cleveland show. Uh, you know, rest assured, I am definitely smashing that. I mean, come on. She's not taking any crap from anybody. I mean, she, and not to mention, she is beautiful. She's sexy. And not to mention, and plus, come on. Who doesn't love a woman with a little bit of attitude? Like Donna over here. Who wouldn't want a woman with attitude? Think about it, guys. Think about it. Yeah, so, smash, 100%. Sorry, Cleveland, but I'm taking your woman. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Okay, so next up we have is Lois Griffin from Family Guy. Uh, you know, rest assured, I'm smashing this. And dating as well. Because, guys, in all reality, come on, guys, in reality, we all know she could have done better than Peter. We all know that she could have done better than Peter. I mean, come on, really? You know she could have done better than Peter. I mean, really? Anyway, um, yes, I would definitely date and smash 
Lois Griffin. I mean, come on. Look at her. She, I mean, come on, guys. How could you not want to date Lois Griffin? How could you not want to date her? And Smash, obviously. <laughs> anywho, anywho, let's keep the ball rolling, guys. I think we're down to my favorite character. Yep, here she is. We are down to my favorite character in those uh, little categories of cartoons. Guys, we are to Francine Smith from American Dad. Oh, man, Francine Smith. Guys, there's only two characters in, in American Dad that I would 100% smash. Just no joke. I would definitely smash Francine Smith and her sister. Obviously, I would definitely smash Francine Smith and her sister. I mean, sure, there's lots of other women in, in American Dad, but when it comes to Francine, <laughs> you know, rest assured, everybody's going to want to be in it. I mean, and plus, not to mention, Stan, you're a very, very lucky guy to get with this woman. You're a very, very lucky guy. And plus, not to mention, Francine, I have no idea how the world you could put up with Stan. I mean, him working for the CIA, him pulling out his gun every five minutes, always judging his um, neighbors and all that other crap. You must be a very, very strong-wielded woman to not leave him. <laughs> and plus, not to mention, putting up with all the crap that uh, he's done, you know, like hoarding an alien, Roger, ugh. And dealing with your activist slash hippie daughter. And not to mention your geek of a son. And not to mention your uh, fish German. Whatever he is. Ugh. Klaus. Ugh. Anyway, Francine Smith, you're definitely getting a smash. And a date, obviously. Anyway, moving on. Oh, man. Okay, guys. We are down to... Whew, the thickest. And I do mean... The thickest cartoon mom there is. I'm talking about Elastigirl or Miss Incredible from The Incredibles. I mean, come on, guys. Just think about it. She's absolutely beautiful. She's sexy. And like I said before, majorly thick. I mean, we all saw that scene in The Incredibles when she was checking herself out in the mirror. Not the second one, the uh, first one. I mean, come on. We all saw it. We all saw it, guys. And you guys can't deny the fact that she is thick. Like, really thick in the booty. She's really thick in the booty. And I'm gonna stop talking about her booty like that. I'm gonna stop. Anyway, as for her personality, come on. She's a really, really great mom. She's a really great mom. And not to mention the fact that she was able to produce two very, very powerful kids. I mean, Dash, he's definitely awesome. I mean, super speed, anytime. And as for Violet, creating the force fields and turning herself invisible, that's definitely really awesome too. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to lie. Elastigirl is definitely getting a smash. I mean, come on, guys. She's just amazing. All right, anyway, let's see who else we got. Okay, so next up we have is Raven from Ruby. Now, guys, I know what you guys are probably thinking. Oh, but wait a minute, isn't Ruby an anime? Uh, I'm sorry to tell you guys this, but it may look like it's in an anime style, but no. Ruby is actually classified as a cartoon, so... Yeah, sorry. I mean, if you think about it, it can be a anime. I mean, I mean, think about it. it they have they have action scenes that so do reach anime standards, I guess. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, Raven. Um, I would definitely smash Raven. No 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 doubt about it. I would definitely smash Raven. And plus, not to mention, I can definitely see where Yang gets her looks from. I could definitely see it, and, um, again, I would definitely smash her, despite the fact that, you know, she neglected Yang, uh, and became a, uh, thief, and ran her own gang and all that other stuff, so, um, yeah, um, I'm not gonna hold that against her, she was just trying to, you know, provide for her family, and then she just, you know, decided to get a little bit more of a taste to the, um, power and all that other stuff, 
So, um, yeah, when it comes to Raven, sure, why not? I would definitely smash Raven. But when it comes to a date, uh, I don't know. I really don't know because, uh, yeah, she might still have that little bit of thievery left in her. But anyway, but bottom line, yeah, definitely smash. Anyway, moving on. All right, so next up we have is Mommy Mirist from Friday Night Funkin'. Uh, I know this counts, I know, I know guys, she's a video game character, but hey, sometimes video games do count as cartoons, I guess, I don't know. Do they really? I don't know. But anyway, Mommy Mirist, you know 100% I'm smashing that. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Having to produce one of the most powerful and most beautiful and sexy little demons out there. I mean, and plus, not to mention, she's pretty much beautiful and sexy herself. I mean, if you look past the purple skin, the uh, glowing red eyes, the uh, pointy ears, and the long claws slash and slash nails that she has, overall, she's a very, very beautiful woman. I mean, I could definitely see where girlfriend gets her looks from, obviously. Anyway, yeah, I would definitely smash Mommy Mirist. <laughs> and I kind of already am. <laughs> I mean, ever since Daddy Dearest died, he uh, asked me to take good care of her, and I am so far. Whew. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Okay, so next up we have is Vanilla Rabbit. Vanilla Rabbit from, of course, Sonic. Um, Vanilla. Um, well, I guess I would definitely smash. I mean, obviously I would smash. I mean, come on, guys, think about it. Who in their right mind would not want to smash Vanilla Rabbit? I mean, come on. Think about it. She's definitely beautiful. She's very, very nice and sweet. And, not to mention, she really, really raised cream right. She really, really raised cream right. I mean, she raised her to be a very, very respectable, well-mannered little girl. But, think about it. For, but think about it, for Vanilla, you know, rest assured, she had to get her uh, hands and paws dirty in order to create her. Anyway, so think about it. It's definitely something. Anyway, Vanilla the, anyway, vanilla the Rabbit, 100% smash. 100% smash. And you can't tell me otherwise, guys. I mean, come on, she's just amazing. Okay, I think we are down to a few more, or the last one, I think. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, okay. Okay. Who thought this was funny? Who thought this was funny? Adding my mom into the list. Adding my own mother into the list. I mean, come on. Okay. Okay. You know what? I can see past this. I can see past this. Okay. I know how I can do this. Watch this. I'm thinking if I say hypothetically, hypothetically, if my mom was single and she wasn't related to me, I would definitely smash. I would definitely smash and date. Okay? There, bottom line, there, bottom line, guys, I would definitely date and smash my own mom. If, of course, she was, of course, if I wasn't her son, well, I kind of am not her son. I'm not her son by blood, but I'm her son by adoption. But, and also, if, like I said, if she wasn't my mom and she was in love with me and all that other stuff, I would definitely smash and date. There. <sighs> there. I nailed it. Okay. So, there. I could told you guys I could work my way past this. Wait. Was this actually the last one? Yeah, it was the last one. Okay. Okay. Guys, now that this is the last one, I'm going to have... Okay, guys. I'm going to say this. <sighs> this final battle against the Flame Syndicate is definitely going to be interesting. It's really going to be interesting. So, guys... You guys best better be ready to see a whole bunch of stuff go down. So, you guys better be ready for this, because 
I guarantee you, you guys are really, really going to enjoy the final battle between me and the Anti-Flame Syndicate. Anyway, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do this one again, only this time with a little bit more moms and... And, of course, with my brother, Sonic. Anywho, 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 and if you guys want to, and if you guys, um, and if you guys, let me know in the comments down below, which one of these beautiful cartoon moms would you want to date, smash, or pass? And, of course, if there is any other cartoon mom that I have not put in this list and you want me to put in for next time let me know in the comments and i'll try my best to uh see if i can put them on here okay anyway anyway and if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way you guys will be up to date whenever i post now if you guys excuse me <sighs> me sonic rainbow dash and sunset shimmer we got a battle to win. Anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog saying, see you guys on the battlefield and signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers.